Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Storytime in Seacliff. Yesterday's clue was a frog. All right, and today's story is about Poco, who is a frog. Let's find out what Poco's story is. Ah, the biggest mistake that Poco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. They had made mistakes before. They had. Once they gave her a slingshot. Mm. <gasps> Another time, a llama. Once a balloon. All mistakes. But the drum was the biggest mistake of all. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father. What? said her mother. The drum is too loud. I can't hear you. That drum was a big mistake, said her father. That sounds like a wonderful idea, said her mother, who still couldn't hear what he was saying. The next day, her father said, Poco, why don't you take your drum outside for a little while? But don't make too much noise. We're just a little frog family who lives in a mushroom. We don't like drawing attention to ourselves. Poco agreed and she set out quietly, as quietly as she could. Oh, it had just rained and the forest was sparkling like, like an emerald. And it was very, very quiet, very quiet. It was too quiet. Poco began tapping on her drum just to keep herself company, but something stirred inside her. A raccoon playing a banjo started following her, so Poco hit her drum a little bit harder. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet started following them. But Poco, she kept playing her drum. And then a wolf, oh, who couldn't really play anything, but was just happy to be near the music, joined. And then Poco still played her drum. But the wolf, the wolf frightened some of the animals. Oh, I'm sorry, said the wolf. And he meant it. He meant it. He didn't want to frighten anyone. Then they all started playing again. And soon, there was a crowd of animals playing instruments and a crowd of animals following them, enjoying, enjoying the music. And they were all following Poco. Yes. Poco, your dinner's ready, shouted her father. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. And the music grew louder and louder until the crowd swept through the house and carried Poco's parents off into the woods. Oh no, said her father. Oh dear, said her mother. I think that Poco's down in front, said her father. And you know what? What, her mother said who was just getting to the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. And no one could hear what he was saying, but if they could, they would all have agreed. Poco was playing beautifully. And that's the end of the story of Poco and her drum. Birthday time. Oh, look behind me. Cameraman Dan will focus in on this. Today is the birthday of our favorite author, Barbara Pym. And sure enough, we have a little display here of her books, her painting, and a little figure, figure of Barbara Pym. We're gonna to sing to her too in a minute. Let's find out what our cake looks like today. Vanilla, Joseph, Graham, Molly, Alice, Allison, and Lily. I think, oh, Emily too. Bev, B, Ben, 
Audrey, Lila, Raleigh, Rod Riley, <laughs> Maeve, Haley, James, uh, and Nicholas. Yes, they're all there. All right, let's find out. Oh, six, six vanilla. Oh, no. Oh, ten chocolate. Whoa. Okay. So, again, again, more chocolate. So, you vanilla lovers better get your votes in. Ready now? Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Barbara. Happy birthday to you. Yes, Barbara Pym. All right, Oberon, would you like to offer us up a clue? Let me see. Oh, a lovely bird, like a robin, perhaps. All right, think about what our story might be about tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Oberon. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, everyone. And remember, I love you all very, very much.